Happy Friday, and today's soup is water. No. <laughs> but it does make a good base. So uh, I'm just going to make a quick broth. You can use canned. You can use boxed. Better than bouillon, whatever. But I have um, three thighs here and some skin that I took off some other thighs earlier in the week. And for aromatics, I have onion, celery, carrot. I have... Um, some salt, bay leaf, and peppercorns. I dumped those in. Mm -hmm. I didn't put a lot of salt to begin. This is going to cook down a lot. So, um, But I'm not doing a bone broth type thing. I'm just doing a simple, quick broth for um, soup. Uh, now, if you want to kind of do an Asian base here. Oh, I also have a piece of garlic. If you want to do an Asian base soup, you can, uh, if you want, take out the bay leaves or leave them in and throw in a star anise. So that will flavor it beautifully, especially if you're doing pho. So today's soup is just going to be a hodgepodge of stuff. I think I'll thin slice some onions I have here. Uh, you get a look inside my fridge. Use up these carrots. I have a little bit of cabbage here I'm going to finish off. Oh, and some broccoli I might add to this. All right. And let me see what else. Back here. Uh, let's see what I have. I have... I have blackberries still from my garden last year. A couple bags of those blackberries. I need to get something to organize my shelves and vegetables better here. But I think I'll throw some of these wonton in. It's already open, so I can get that used up. That'll be good. We will make it an Asian, an Asian uh, dish then. That'll be great. Perfect. And I keep all my Asian stuff back here. Um, so I'll probably add maybe a little rice vinegar and some soy, some Chinese wine. This is Shall see. I have some mirin too, but and fish sauce. Ah. So tempting. I may add some fish sauce tonight. We'll see. And of course, we'll top that with some sriracha and probably a little drop of hoisin or so. I have these um, crisp chili crisp too. I like these. I may add those too. I'll add it all. All right, I have the veggies I'm going to put in my soup. Uh, in addition to the wontons, so I have some carrot, onion, cabbage, and I decided to just leave it with that. I have my chicken. I pulled that, cleaned it up, put the bones and the skin back in the broth to get happy. And I'm now going to double strain this soup. So I'll put it through this bigger strain first, and then I'll put it through this small strain. You can see here why I strain it a second time. So you do pick up some stuff. And if you want, you can rinse this and, you know, do it again if you like. But I'm happy with just one run through the smaller soup. All right, I'm going to flavor mine uh, with some Asian seasoning here. Uh, I should open this first. Hold on just a second. All right, I'm going to put a shake or two of Chinese five spice, some soy, and some sing chow. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Xiao sing uh, wine. That's a better pronunciation. But if you ever find these in an Asian market, these pho are pretty good. Um, I've used them. I like the... The bao pho, the best, but 
It has directions on how to do everything. And the ingredients on the side, probably some MSG, yeah. MSG for those who are sensitive. But anyway, I do like this. Uh, they're little bouillon cube type things, so they're very good. In a pinch, in a pinch, if you want to do a good uh, Vietnamese soup. We're just doing like an Asian-inspired thing today. So here's my wine. It doesn't need much. And some soy. Also and ah, Chris is home with the groceries. Good. And there's a couple shakes of that seasoning, and we're gonna let this simmer a bit. Okay, and I like these uh, Bibigo Korean style mini wontons. Now I really like the leek pork and leek that they have. But these are really good, too, and they're good pan-fried, like gyoza or, you know, dumplings. Or they're also good in soup, which is what we're using them for today. So I'm going to dump those in. Now, these are high in um, sodium, and hmm, they're all right in carbs, I guess. Um, but... They are only 230 for 13, and we're not even eating that because we have all this other, you know, protein and uh, fibrous vegetables here that will fill us up as well. But I've already dumped, you know, a handful for each of us in there. We're just waiting for that to boil or, you know, cook, I should say. All right, and they're floating, which is a good indicator that they are finished, just like ravioli. So I'm going to put them in the bowl and we're going to eat. And there we have it. Now we could do a little, um, you know, green onion or some fried shallots on top would be good. But we're ready to dig in. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching.